I'm sorry, my phone cut out there for a sec. Who knows? Okay, and then we're going to combine like terms. I'm going to move, I mean, it doesn't matter which way you do it. Plus M1A plus M1A. And let's see what happens. We have M2G minus M1G is equal to M2A plus M1A. And we'll factor the G out on the left. So we have M2 minus M1. And we'll factor the A out on the right. M2 plus M1. Ooh, I see a pattern. Love when that happens. And now I'll divide both sides by M2 plus M1. And boom, A equals uh, M2 minus M1 over M2 plus M. I'm going to stick the G over there at the end because I like the pattern and <laughs> the way the M's look. All right, so this is the answer, or this is what they want you to do when you see derive an expression for acceleration in terms of mass. Those words mean do that. <laughs> And this is the acceleration of the system. Okay. Okay, so let's write down what I did. There's two ways to do steps. I'm gonna write these ones in the past tense. So this is what I did. Number one, I, let's see, draw, oh, this is a to-do list. I'm gonna make a to-do list. I'll do what I did list next time. Draw and label acceleration. That's the first thing we did up here. Second thing I did was I made boxes for M1 and M2 to set up uh, the sum of the forces in each direction. And I drew free body diagrams, right? Then I solved for T. Oops, solve. I'm trying to write it in the right tense. Solve for T and plug in. The Plug into the other one. <laughs> and then I factored a bunch of stuff. Factor stuff. <laughs> and rearrange for A. Okay, that's the to-do list here. All right. Here's a bonus question. Does this machine change force, direction, or both? Pause to chat. What if you had another pulley? Pause to chat or Google some images of multi-pulley systems in physics. Pulleys. Pulleys are how you get the couch to the third floor. I'm just saying. All right, you guys have a good night. I mean, day. <laughs> Bye.